right, wrapping is all off. Package is all off, I should say. Here's a better look at that uh, fiberglass template. You would set this up against the body of the truck, flush with the fender wheel, match it up to the body lines. It's got a perfect curve right there to go where the hood, uh, where the windshield wiper base is, I guess you could say. Match the body lines, fit it over this. That way you can know where to cut your hole. And put your punches here and here and here and here and here. So it's not very detailed instructions like I was thinking that might come with it. Uh, you know, it's right, body part has 4R. It doesn't have the same sticker on it like I got out. This is the piece that goes into the inside, inside the fender. And I'm assuming that it will, but that's the spot that where the snorkel itself goes in. Now here the snorkel is all in one piece. There's the top unit that goes on the top of the roof. And there's the bottom unit that goes on the side. Uh, interesting though, this is all one piece, so there's no like putting it on together. So when I flip it over here, uh, you can see there's no hardware up here. So I don't know, I may use 3M on somewhere in line here to help it stick to the body better, but there's not really any thing there uh, hardware wise but there's where the air goes in it is facing towards the rear of the vehicle um, and even down here you can see there's really no hardware it just sits flush against the body the a-arm so like i said i may put some like 3m we'll, we'll get out and look at it once i drill the holes and get it placed where it's right we'll definitely look at it a little bit better uh, as you can see, the hardware is already attached on here. So I'll take these nuts and washers off, stick the bolts in, and then tighten them. Uh, I'm assuming I don't want to tighten them too hard, just given the fact that, you know, they might strip. But I definitely want to get them hard enough to where they'll hold. So I may reach out to the manufacturer just to see if they have a certain torque recommendation or if they say just to hand tighten it. Uh, I think you don't want to get too aggressive with it because then again you can pop it out of the back here. So this thing, I'm going to assume maybe this mounts like there and then this goes up and comes up to the stock air box. So we'll see. I'm assuming that's the way it is. Uh, it's the only thing I can think of, but yeah, that's probably where it's at. Cause if you pull the chiplet over here, I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm doing the camera with one hand and the thing with the other. You match the holes up on the template, and they're right there. Uh, that hole is just a tad bit off, but that's something I could easily uh, so you get a focus here. That's something I could easily rectify. It's not a big deal. These bottom holes, because I mean it's perfectly matched on the thing there. These bottom holes, these holes down here are a little bit off. Um, so I will need to look at that. And here, these holes are matched up. Let me just see if you raise that up. Uh, I'll try to match it up down here. Yeah, these are off. So, Alpha, if you're watching this, you need a little bit better job at your holes there. So this template's a little bit off. So I'll have to mark that and adjust accordingly. Maybe I just drill, the washers are bigger than the holes by far. So maybe I just drill the hole a little bit bigger than normal or try to see the spacing. So that'll, that'll take some uh, careful observation. Other than that, it looks like a good quality piece. Uh, so, this seems like a, a very good project for me to work on. There are no videos that I can see on YouTube of this particular model. And there's only a handful of people on Instagram that I've seen with this particular one. So, uh, you know, kind of being a pioneer here alone a little bit, but, and there's no really written instructions, even though I think it's pretty straightforward. So, and I've never seen any on their website either. So a little, uh, anxiety ridden day definitely have some beers on standby just in case i mess anything up so all right stay tuned and we'll get to this 
uh, install soon and hope you enjoy. Thank you. All right, so as mentioned before, the only issue I've had is that these holes, or I should say these bolts, do not match up with the template or the piece that attaches to the other side of it. Uh, so I took a Sharpie, got these two bolts back here lined up. Excuse me, charge this one hand. Got these two bolts back here lined up. And I took a Sharpie, you don't know if you can see it right there tip of my thumb, and marked where the hole needs to be elongated on both. Cause see, you notice it fits perfectly around the whole inlet itself. So that I'm not worried about, but I won't have to make these a little bit bigger. The washers that come on this uh, are bigger than the hole. But I've got some spare fender washer stainless steel that are a little bit bigger. So if I need to, I can use those to kind of help offset that. Also, on this, this bottom hole in this uh, pipe, I'm going to have to widen that out just a hair bit. Uh, just to make it fit as well, because it's off as well. So I'm going to widen that out just a hair bit. Right there, tip my thumb. Uh, right here on the very tip just to make it a little, a little bit bigger, not much. And that way everything should line up perfect at that point. So just some minor stuff, but it is kind of frustrating. And so probably the only con I have so far uh, of this kit is the whole alignments. You know, they're barely off, but still, you know, it's $900 snorkel, you know, I think I should do better. But anyway, uh, if that's my only complaint i'll still be happy so stay tuned all right so i got these drilled out these holes in this template uh, i did put some green tape over here to kind of help isolate the exact pinpoint on some of these this one here didn't need it because it was a good one but i had to widen these holes out just a little bit you'll notice that this thing does flip sit completely flush you know so off we go that's the fun part. All right, so I did take a drill and just kind of touch this up a little bit. So now that fits, it is kind of snug, but it fits on there. So, and now the nuts and bolts are still on there, so I had to take those off yet. That's the reason why it's not sitting flush. But uh, I did get it to line up. So, just a minor inconvenience, but like I said, if this is the only thing that's wrong after everything's said and done, I'll still be happy. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so kind of coming in a little late here. Uh, we took the factory air box out. There's plenty of videos on how to do that. So I'm not gonna go into that. Uh, the only one's pretty dirty. KNF air is pretty dirty. I hadn't cleaned it since Moab, which poo on me. So that's the first step I took. Next step is gonna be to make sure, take this stuff out here, the inner liner, put the, the mold on here or the template I should say line everything up and start the the cringing work uh, one thing I should mention here prior to doing the drilling I did use a hole punch uh, I bought from Home Depot to indent the fender where the bit's supposed to go so you're supposed to do that it tells you to do that so I did that to help make it easier um, you know i started out with a smaller drill and i ended up going to the bigger one as i'll talk about here in a minute so i just want to put that in there just let you all know uh basically just cover the whole fender area with uh masking tape to put whenever that way when it cuts it won't jag it keep it jagged down jagged edges down uh and then tape the template on and then proceed to do the drill as we're showing here uh, always verify 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 before you start marking and drilling you'll also notice a crosshair in the middle of the hole uh, that's also they also recommend that to help with the uh, pinpoint where the guide hole is they sent me directions to the Tacoma unit which are pretty similar to the forerunner uh, so I did use that to help me through this okay so I forgot to hit record but I basically switched from a 9 16 to a quarter inch drill and I did every point so I'm leave the thing here so you can see the mounting holes and I did a 
pilot hole for the saw, which I will do in here in just a moment. But yeah, I started with a 9 16 even though the directions only stay a quarter inch, just to get a little bit more, make sure I just want to be a little extra secure. Probably didn't have to do that, but you know, did it anyway. All right, here comes the big one. Stay tuned. All right, here goes the big one. I had to take the template back off because the hole saw is bigger than the opening in the template. So here we go, for better or for worse. God be with me. So I should probably mention here that I had a pair of eyeglasses with me and every intent to use them. Uh, you really should, as you can see the shrapnel coming off of the saw. Um, that's definitely not something you want to forget. I did just with my mind so much, so much I just forgot it. It was an honest mistake. Uh, please don't do what I just did and uh, make sure you wear safety glasses when you're doing this because you definitely don't want to be picking metal out of your eyes. Uh, I was fortunate. Nothing happened. Uh, the saw worked really good. Cut right through once I, you know, got the handle of it. And it's pretty uh, painless as far as actually drilling the hole. Uh, All right. So here's the trophy. Yeah. Good times. All right. So I put some of the 3M VHB tape on. Uh, probably overdid it a little bit, but hey. You know, I always say be safe and not sorry. So I'm going to take the outer piece off and then I'll stitch it, stitch it onto the, I'm sorry, place it onto the side of the truck and the roof. And. Let it sit for a while. Let it adhere. So, anyway, fun project. Something I forget to mention was that I did deburr and use touch up paint on the holes prior to putting this on. All right, here we go. All right, so here's the factory air box. I already got the clear in and air clear feet cleaned, and K and N air filter cleaned. Uh, it was pretty dirty when my hob. I rinsed the casing out too. There is no really adapter, but this thing, if you push it in, it fits pretty snug in there. I took the little coupling thing off. Uh, probably end up trashing it, but it fits in there pretty snug. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in there really, but if you push it in, it's as you can see it's kind of it's a good snug fit so I'm hoping that goes on pretty good I still have to put some RVT around the edge here and then bolt this bad boy up so and then it'll stick right out through there and into the box so this may be frustrating this may be one of the easiest parts of it but we'll soon find out all right so now I'm gonna put a bead of sil uh, RVT sealant around the edge here All right, so it's not the prettiest, but at this point, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to shimmy this in there without knocking this stuff off. Got my nut and washer here. If I can get it lined up, and then we'll get this show on the road. All right, so the hardest part of this whole install was these bolts, putting them in there. The bottom one wasn't too bad, and the back ones towards the cowl were not bad at all, but the bolts on this tube, uh, especially the top one, was a bitch. Uh, it was very hard to get your fingers up to it. I would suggest the manufacturer maybe rotate the bolt holes on that part a little bit, just so that way it's easier to get to. Uh, you know, also the hardest part also was taking the fender well liner out. Uh, it was a pain in the ass. So those two were the hardest parts. Not the most nerve wracking, but the hardest parts. Uh, as you can see, it's starting to rain here, which it sucks when you don't have a garage. But you know what you gotta do, what you gotta do. All right, as we wrap this up, just want to go over some uh, pros and cons in the conclusion. Pros: This thing is a sleek uh, look, sweet design, it's a little unique at this point. Cons: The hole is not matching in the template to the front piece. The bolt placement, I said if they could rotate a little bit, that'd help a lot, especially getting those bolts and nuts on the top bolt. Maybe shift it to the side a little bit, might help make it more easy. Uh, of course, the biggest con is the price. It's not a cheap cheap item. It's well more than the Dobbinsons or ARBs. 
but overall it's worth it to me i love the way it looks i love the way it looks um no regrets and as you'll hear i took it for a ride felt great uh, and it gives a little bit of a suction sound when you rev it you can only hear it when the sunroof is open and the radio is off so i just want to clarify that Thank <laughs> you.